In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a connected installation using the RTO with Natatmo Gateway Pack. A two-gang connected socket outlet. A connected switch. A wireless switch. Before starting work on the electrical installation, the power must be isolated at the main switch to ensure a safe working environment. Let's start with the gateway. The gateway allows you to create the radio network and the Wi-Fi connection of the connected installation. It should be installed in a location where it can receive a good Wi-Fi signal. To install the gateway, you need one one-gang flush mounting box, one two-module support frame, one gateway included in the gateway pack and one two-module plate. The connected gateway is flush mounted in a one-gang box at a recommended depth of 47 mm. Connect the wires to the screw terminals, the neutral wire and the live wire. Mount the gateway in the flush mounting box. Next, let's look at the two-gang connected socket outlet. To install this, you will need one two-gang flush mounting box at least 35 mm deep, one two-gang connected socket outlet and one 2x3 module plate for the two-gang connected socket outlet. The two-gang connected socket outlet is wired as a traditional socket outlet. The two-gang connected socket outlet is pre-wired. You only have to wire the right-hand side of the product. It is flush mounted in a two-gang box, which is at least 35 mm deep. Connect the live wire to the live terminal of the socket outlet, the neutral wire to the neutral terminal and the earth wire to the earth terminal of the socket outlet. Mount the connected socket outlet in the flush mounting box. Next, you need to install the connected switch. The connected light switch requires prior installation of the gateway pack, so it can control lights locally or remotely via the Home Plus Control app. The connected light switch is supplied with a bleeder, which is a synthetic load. This should be wired as close as possible to light fitting to ensure correct operation. It controls all types of lamps, for LED and CFL lamps from 5 to 50 watts, and for halogen and incandescent lamps from 5 to 300 watts. In this case, we are using dimmable LEDs. To install the connected switch, you'll need one one-gang flush mounting box, one two-module support frame, one connected switch, a bleeder, and a two-module plate. The connected switch should be flush mounted in the one-gang box at a recommended depth of 47 mm and can replace an existing switch. Connect the wires to the screw terminals, with the live wire connecting to the live terminal and the switched live wire connecting to one of the other two terminals on the mechanism. The connected light switch is wired like a traditional switch. Connect the bleeder to the lamp on the lighting switch that is to be controlled. A single bleeder is needed to ensure correct operation of the lights on a single circuit. Refit the light fitting and fix a dimmable lamp before continuing with the installation. As with the switch functions, all connected wired blind controls are installed in the same way as a traditional blind control. You have to add the neutral wire. To finalize the installation, you need to configure the wireless home and away master switch supplied with the gateway pack, allowing you to open the network. To complete the master switch, you'll need a two-moduled plate. Turn the power back on. The LEDs will light up with a steady red light. The wireless home and away master switch will then allow you to configure products to work together. Remove the protection tab from the battery. To activate it, press briefly at the bottom of the switch. The LED blinks green and will then go off. The LED on the gateway will also go off. You should then move close to the LED gateway and press the middle of the wireless home and away master switch. Hold down until the LED on the master switch turns green, then release. The wireless home and away master switch LED will then turn off. The LEDs on the installed wired products will light up green, indicating that the network is open. To add a wireless switch, remove the protection tab from the battery and press briefly at the bottom of the switch in order to activate it. The LED will blink green momentarily. Keep pressing on the bottom of the wireless control. 
tapping three times on the product you wish to control. The LEDs of both products will quickly blink in blue, then show a slightly longer blink before going off. The LED on the wired product will revert back to green. If you press the middle of the master switch, the LED will blink three times, while the products will switch off their LED. All products can be controlled by the wireless home and away master switch. Place the provided stickers on the back of the wireless home and away master switch. You can then complete the installation with the preferred finish by clipping the plate onto the installed products. The connected installation can be managed remotely through the Home Plus Control app. It can also be controlled by virtual assistants such as Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa and Apple's Siri. Smart displays such as Nest Hub and Amazon Echo Show can be used to control the installation. Upgrades are also available, first with a smart electrical panel using CX3 and EMDX3 with Netatmo as connected modules, with the Smart Thur with Netatmo connected thermostat and finally with Netatmo smart radiator valves.